Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a video today about North Seymour, which is one of the islands in the Galapagos. Uh, you can visit this um, not only on a cruise, but you can also visit this if you're doing a land-based tour, which is how I did my tour and how I'm going to describe uh, visiting the island today. So the reasons you might want to visit uh, North Seymour, or because it's actually on, the, it's our trips to it are off the island of Santa Cruz, uh, you'll land into an island called Boltra, and then you'll take a taxi or a uh, van and a boat over to Porto Aera, which is the main town on the island of Santa Cruz. Uh, from there, you'll be able to book your trip to North Seymour. You can do that at any of the local uh, tour agencies. Um, it was booked out a few days uh, whenever I was there, so last minute booking. Uh, don't wait till your last day to try to book it because it, be, um, it may be full. It's a nice boat ride out there. You can see some uh, some neat rocks and things on the way out. Most of the tours also include a snorkeling element um, at a beach, which is a, it'll probably take you to a nice looking beach. It'll be a scenic beach, but the snorkeling is probably not going to be the best you'll see on the trip. So I wouldn't get too excited about that part of it. The reason to go is more the island itself of North Seymour. There's a lot of unique wildlife you can see there. Some of the wildlife you will see elsewhere, but it's still neat to see it here. And there's some wildlife here that you may not see uh, as much elsewhere, or you might not see it as close as you can see it on North Seymour. So as your boat nears the shore, keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. You'll probably see a lot of birds, but also you'll see sea lions. When I was there, the sea lions uh, appear to be giving birth recently, and there were a number of baby uh, sea lions that could be seen as we uh, docked on the island. Um, another interesting bird has a, uh, a red ring around its eyes. That's the swallow-tailed gull that you should be able to see as your boat docks. There's going to be two types of iguanas you should be able to see on the island. Once you land and come on shore, the first one you'll probably see is the marine iguana. You'll also see these iguanas in lots of other places too, but this is a good place to see some up close. But you'll see them up close here and you'll probably see more of them here. They have some interesting behaviors. They roll the, uh, the cactus to remove any spines or or uh, protrusions before they eat them. I was able to actually see one doing that, rolling a, a uh, um, cactus fruit before it ate it. Um, they also dig burrows, so if you keep an eye out, you'll see some pretty uh, some pretty large burrows that are dug by these iguanas, and they're, they're fun to watch. So one of everybody's favorite is the blue-footed booby. You'll probably see these as, as you're doing boat rides. They might be perched on rocks and things on other parts of the trip, but you'll really get to see them up close here. Additionally, you can see the nesting behavior here as they're breeding on the island. You can see them mating, um, you can see them setting on eggs, and you can see them um, actually with the young having been hatched. Keep an eye out for other birds as well. I saw this uh, finch nest, and uh, other people have reported seeing birds such as short-eared owls on the island, although I didn't see any while I was there. And finally, near the end of the trail, we were able to see the frigate birds breeding. Uh, there's actually a couple places along the trail we saw them, but we saw them at the closest range near the end of the trail. There were quite a number of frigate birds uh, putting on their red puffy throat display as well as some had already had uh, young that had hatched and they're a really cool bird um, I think we might have seen them flying maybe somewhere else but this was the only place we really saw them up close and where you could see the red throat puffing and putting on the full display <laughs> 